hopefully I remember to plug the microphone in this time. Um, this is the swarm hive. I'm going to go in here. They were requeened on Friday. No, sorry, Saturday, and it is now Tuesday. So that's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. They seem like they were releasing the queen super quick. They were eating through that candy real quick. So they either wanted to get to her to kill her or they wanted to get to her to, to have their new queen. So I need to find out which. And I'm hoping it's the latter. As in, they needed their new queen and Hopefully they got her. Is she out yet? Let's take a look. Okay, so... He's on the lid there. Okay, let's take a look. See what's going on here. I see bees in the cage, but I'm not sure if that's just because they're... Just because they're going in there for whatever reason. I don't know that that was, is our queen necessarily. Yeah, she has been released. She's not in the cage. They've been in there. And they've released uh, the queen. And they've eaten all of the candy that was in there. So... take that out of there. I guess that's good to have is this, this little uh, queen cage. Never know, I'll put it with my stuff. So the question is, is she dead or is she alive? Is she laying or what's going on? So here's a frame still with nothing on it. So they still have work to do. There's not a ton of bees on that frame. And the next frame is very much the same. Now I'm looking in there. No comb drawn out on the second frame, but uh, on the back side, they're starting to draw comb out right here. So I pre-wax my frames. I, I've got a little roller and I heat some wax up that I've got some excess of and I roller it on here over the whole piece so that it helps them to start to draw out the comb. Third frame. Same thing, it's a brand new frame. They're starting to draw out the comb on this ring. Now the new queen has got the green dot on her thorax, so I think she'll be quite easy to spot. But I don't expect her to be on this frame. Hopefully she's in here, hopefully she's started to lay. That would be ideal. This is a brand new frame and they've drawn that out quite nicely. A little bit of nectar in there, not a whole lot, just at the top there's a little bit. No eggs on this side. A little bit of nectar on this too. No eggs on there either. I don't see the queen running around. Or lumbering around as I should say. So what I need to do is look at the next frame as I pull each frame out. I need to look at the, the next frame. She could be running from me on that frame. Another frame of freshly drawn out comb on black foundation. I don't see any eggs on there either. Looking for that green dot. kind of tough to see eggs because the light isn't the best and this is white foundation that I'm looking at right now now she may be running as I pull the frames out she 
He may not even be in here. You never know. They sure did release her quick. I would say within 30 hours she was released. Hmm. Well, that's a little concerning. I was hoping I would find her easy with that green spot on her. I think what I want to do is go through these again. At least these three here. Now, just because I don't find her doesn't mean she's not in here. It's still possible. Is that possibly a queen? Is that possibly a virgin queen? That possibly is a queen. I don't know. I was pretty sure they didn't have one and they didn't have the ability to make a, a virgin because they had no eggs in this in here. So it doesn't make sense that they would be able to make a virgin. I think I'm gonna call it for today. On this hive. I'm not seeing her. And hope for the best. It's all I can do at this point. Is hope for the best. I've given them a new queen. It's all I can do. is the other half of that swarm box. This is the half that didn't swarm and they were definitely queenless and they don't have any brood and I have given them a new queen in a cage and they didn't seem as excited to find to find that they had a new queen in a cage But, uh, and they were slower at releasing her, and I don't know if they've released her yet. That's what we're gonna find out. Looking at the top lid, she's not on there. Now they don't have very many bees at all. It's actually one, two, three, four, five, hardly any bees. The bees are concentrated right here. So yeah, there's not a whole lot of bees in this hive now. So I gotta watch, I gotta watch what happens as far as small hive beetles might create an issue. I gotta keep an eye on those pesky things. Let's see if we can, uh, I don't think they've released her. It's not looking like they have, oh, don't, don't get out of there.
This queen has not been released. Let's just watch them a little bit more. So there's the green spot, really obvious. That was Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's been three days. I don't want to. I don't want to rush them. I'd love to release her and let her in there. But uh, I, I'm not going to because, I, like I said, I think I did that before, and I think that created problems. So they are eating the cone, the candy, but very slowly. Very slowly. She is not released. I'm going to leave them to get on with it. I'm not even going to inspect. I'm just going to leave them. I don't see any small hive beetle activity. There are some peppermints in here still which the beetles don't like, apparently. So we'll just keep them, we'll keep them in there and, and hope for the best. We'll give them another few, we'll give them another 24 hours. What's tomorrow? Well, hopefully by Friday she's released at least. It's very, uh, it's quite stressful. It's quite stressful. So I almost feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna feed these. I'm gonna give them a little bit of feed. No reason not to. This is the nuke from hive number one. I think it's been close to four weeks or so. Now these guys have a queen. They made their own queen and I haven't marked her yet. And I'd like to do that. Now I bought this on Amazon. Bigger than I thought it was, thought bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's a queen catcher. It was a pack of three for 15 bucks, and they arrived within 48 hours. So I'm gonna have a look in here, see if I can find her. Maybe I can catch her in this, and maybe we can get some ink on her if this thing's gonna work. Okay. Lots of bees. That's a great sign. I think she's going to be in one of the middle two frames. When I found her, she was on this frame, which I believe is the frame that had the queen cell on it. I think. Now she's got a big old butt on her. Now. And she was laying eggs. I found some eggs in here that she was laying. Yeah, she's not on this frame. Hopefully she's still in there. Yep, there's eggs on this frame. So she could be on this, on this frame. She's usually not far from where the eggs are. Not seeing her on this side. She's a very dark queen. No eggs on this side. She's not on this side. She could be on the next frame, which is where I found her last time. Now, if you, there was a, uh, oops. There was a nail on this that was catching. Causing me some problems last time. I'm 
Now it's easy to tell a drone from the queen. The drone's eyes meet in the middle. They've got big eyes and they meet in the middle. I think she's going to be on this side. Where are you, Queenie? I don't see eggs on this side. I want to find her so that I can mark her as best I can with what I've got. Now, the difference between a, a laying worker and a laying queen is a laying worker will lay eggs on the side walls of the cell because they can't, their butts don't reach the bottoms of the cell. I don't think she's on this frame. Maybe she was on that previous frame. Or maybe she jumped over. This is heavy. With nectar. The whole thing is nectar and honey. There's my queen. There she is. There she is. Hang on. Let's... Let's see if I can catch her and get her marked. Where did she go? Where did she go? She was right here. There she is. Right here. Let's see, can I catch her? She's gone again. Where did she go? There she is. Now she's gone again. Where'd she go? There she is. So, the queen is in the cage. I need to press down just a little bit. When her thorax is in view. I don't want to crush her. Come on.
There, she's got a nice green dot on her. Make sure she dries before I release her. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this frame back in. That way I know I don't crush her. So there's still room for her to do stuff, lay eggs. She was on a frame of honey, which surprised me. Maybe she was getting something to eat. I don't know. What do I know? So she's got that nice dot on her. I'm going to release her now into the cage. Hopefully you can see her. Nice long butt. There she goes, right there, down inside. Perfect. So she's marked. We'll put the lid back on them. They don't need food. They've got lots of honey, a whole frame over here, a frame of comb, and they've got some eggs, and, and there's plenty of space still. So I don't need to worry about them, probably for, I don't know, maybe another week. This other nuke, I gave them a queen cell, and I believe the queen cell hatched, and I'm going to find out now, because uh, I was going to break open the queen cell because it was the capping was off, and I believe, and I did see a bee climb out, but it was coming out, it came out backwards, and it seemed quite small, so I was kind of a little surprised, but... Uh, So I don't know if that was a, a genuine queen or not. I don't know. Their numbers are down. Their numbers are really down. And they have a lot of honey. And they have a lot of space for eggs. Or whatever they want to put in it. There is a little brood in there, but that was brood that I gave them. So I'm gonna put those I'm gonna put that in right now. I don't want that to get chilled. It's uh should be okay, but I just wanna there's not many bees to keep them girls warm, so this frame's got a lot of bees on it. Now the queen cell that I gave them almost looks like they're building one right next to it. Now I'm just looking, there's brood here, but that was from, I think that's what I gave them. This is a queen cell. It's uncapped. And yes, there is no dead larvae in there. So she must have emerged. There is no sign of a larvae in there or a dead larvae in there. So she must have emerged. So they probably got a virgin queen running around in here. Let's get these back in here as well. I'm gonna leave these girls be. Because if they got a virgin queen, she needs a nice warm day to go out on a mating flight. 
and then she needs to come back and start laying eggs now there is some brood in there they got to keep that warm so they'll get some new uh, bees soon this is the back of hive number four and this is where the brood uh, sorry the uh, double screen board was but now there's a, a queen excluder and a honey box above this stick was there to uh, give the bees somewhere to, to get into the hive but it's now time for that to go so that's gonna happen right now all I'm gonna do is come on girls I don't want to crush you okay that is now closed so now they have to go in the front entrance so if they're lost then they're gonna have to figure it out um, still a few stragglers in the back they're gonna have to figure it out in the honey super there's a stick here that needs to go as well lots of bees in the honey super I don't see any activity with uh, small hive beetles, so that's good. Let's have a look at some of these. We'll look at the outside one. Nothing on the outside one. So they got work to do there. seems heavy this is what you want to see in your Ooh. let's get this thing out oh look at that look at that honey Yep, that's a lot of honey, a lot of nectar. They're not ready yet for harvesting. Let's just put that one aside for one second. This one they're drawing comb out. I think I check aboard the uh, the comb for up here. So there's a, a good frame, an empty frame, a good frame, an empty frame, and so on. This is uh, a good frame of yeah. nectar and honey. What am I seeing here? How is that even possible? I see queen cells, which tells me they were going to swarm. Well, how do they even make queen cells up here? There's three queen cells right there. Well, that's a little worrying. This makes me wonder if these girls are thinking of swarming. Do you know what I could make? What do I have? I have an eight frame right here. I have an eight frame. That's what I'm gonna do. There are swarm cells and honey going in there. That's nothing on that frame. Now those swarm cells look like they're about to hatch any day. Now 
Now, if I could catch the queen and move her, that would be even better. Let me think about doing that. Queen cups, queen cells above the queen excluder. Well, there may have been eggs on that and I didn't even realize. I know I'm 99.9% .9 sure the queen's not up here. But there's another queen cell right there. And another one. So there's a queen cell right there. And a, and a queen cell right there. So, right now I'm putting them in this A-frame box. They're getting loud because they don't have a queen. No queen cells on there. This was starting to worry me that these girls were going to swarm, so I think I got them potentially just in time. There's a queen cell there too. Queen cell there. So there's a whole bunch of queen cells. Okay, what I'm going to try and do, oops. what I'm going to try and do is, uh, yeah, there's a lot of bees in here. I'm going to get some empty frame, just temporarily just to fill the box and I'm going to put this on its side over here just to get it out of the way clean excluder I gotta find my queen. Gotta find my queen. I don't even know where my hive tool is now. What did I, what did I do with it? Put it in the shed, didn't I? Okay. Now the queen, I usually find her up in this top box. Let's hope I can find her. She is my favorite queen for some reason. She's the mama of the queen in this hive, and she's the mama of the queen in the nuke. Now, I usually find the queen in here pretty quickly because she's marked vibrant red. She's hard to miss. Yeah, they got a lot of a lot of nectar in here. A lot of bees. So I'm really hoping that I find her. I normally find her every time in this hive because she just I find her easy to find, usually, usually. Except this time, there's a there's a queen cell there too. So these girls are ready to swarm. If I don't find that queen, I'm definitely splitting them now anyway, regardless of what they think they're doing. That's the third third 
one on the third one closest to me. Come on, Joe, where are you? I need to find you. not going to be on this frame. She's not on that frame. I got a feeling, I'm hoping she's on one of these next two frames. I hope so. Come on. There's queen cells on this frame too, quite a few of them. They are literally ready to swarm any day. Now queen cells, you mustn't turn them upside down, otherwise they become non-viable. Unless of course you want to get rid of them. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them them all and they can figure out which one the first one to hatch out will probably be the winner now is it possible she's already swarmed possible but I doubt it the amount of bees that are in here I was hoping to find her up here because this is where I always find her. She's obviously not in this top box. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's move down the frames to the next, the bottom box. There's my smoke. Let's give them a little bit of smoke. They're not bouncing off me or anything. Yet. Now, unfortunately, it is starting to cool off a little bit. Which concerns me just a little bit. Well, I don't think I need to worry. We're in the bottom box. Looking for a queen. A lot of drones down here. Wow, that's a lot of bees just hanging out. Yeah, there is a lot of bees in here. These girls, any day, would swarm. Make my day if I could find the queen. There's a beetle. Got her. Got the beetle. Ooh. They get a little agitated with me. I don't blame them. They're working on building comb here. There's another.
and making queen cups. Come on, Queenie, where are you? She's got to be in here. There's no way they've swarmed yet. There's just too many bees still in here. She is just not standing out to me yet. another queen cup right there with there was a queen in it and another one there holy moly girls you're really trying hard eh now these are swarm cells being at the bottom of the frames I don't think she's on those two because it's too new, the comb is too new on, on those frames. I feel a bit rushed to find her. I wish I wasn't. I would like to find her. of bees in here and I am not finding the queen well that kind of sucks I was really hoping to find her because I would like to move her make her think she swarmed. There is a ton of bees in here. But I think I can move a lot of them. this frame.
to move one more frame into that into that box. This frame, which they're drawing out. Yeah, my wife's going to be thrilled. I need some more empty springs. So I think I need to move. I need to move Brute down. Which is this box. You know what? I'm going to bring this all in. Them either side of it in the center of the hive. I've really disturbed these girls, but it had to be done. I'm still wondering if they might swarm. because they do still have swarm cells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need one more frame right there. They got a ton of room in that bottom box. Smoker, that's... Excluder. And the honey box. And the top cover. Finally, the lid. Well, there's another split that I wasn't expecting to make. Really. Really, really, really. So now I have eight hives. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, it's possible that the queen is not in this hive. I may have put her in there. It's not always easy to tell. We'll just have to see what happens. Let the girls figure it out. I'm sure they can figure it out. Um, I'm going to get this one strapped up.
it's more bees than I really, really wanted, to be honest. Eight hives. Crazy. I want. I had two. I had two hives in the spring, and now I've got eight. One, two, three, four. Well, I don't know if they've got their queen. I don't know if they accepted her or not. These guys haven't even released their queen. These guys have a... I'm going to have a look underneath again. Okay, now we've got rain. So now we've got rain, so I'm going to call it a day for now. Um, that was pretty exciting. Um, the fact that I've got eight hives now. Um, unexpected. We're just going to have to see how things go. Thanks for watching.